Hola, it's me again. Uh, I have done a couple of trades and I will do another trade now, actually. One trade was, I don't know how far I've shown you actually, but I traded 550 keys for a secret to everybody uh, Bonkalm, one of two. I will search up the trade for you while this is all loading up. And let me see, it, it, it should have been before that. Okay, actually I saw this one for 25 pure keys, those taunts, which add up to like 30 keys. And I got like, how much was it? Like it like 80 keys or something in CS. Something I calculated around to be like, I don't know. It was like 115 keys pure or something, which is pretty good for that one. I got that in a combi deal a long time ago. You, I didn't even show that in the series because it was too long ago. And there is the bunker and I paid uh, 550 keys pure for it. And I just got rid of it again, which is usually not the case because uh, usually if I get one of these Halloween effects, I just sit on them for ages. But now I just saw this yesterday for, let me show you. Yeah, this does not show the trade. Uh, this must show the trade. A Neutron Star Hong Kong Cone, which is priced at 280 keys. A Rotten Hour Footprint Master Yellow Belt for like, I calculated it to be 250 or something. It sold for 250 in the past, around that. Uh, the Speckle Spectrum Strange Birdman of the Breeden. A Breed? Aberdeen? Yeah, that's how we say it. And this Taunt, for, which is like 25 keys or something. Uh, and this one is like 16 keys or something when I sell it. And yeah, this is the offer I got right now. This is the offer I had before. But I just settled for 265 pure. This one wasn't really too good. It's like I calculated it to be like 200 keys. And yeah, I think I could have fetched a 300 if I just waited on it. Because there's like probably some good spell collectors who want to pay a lot for that shit. But I do not want to sit on it for so long. Just rather get the quick pure. Make it quick and easy and uh, try to resell the other stuff, uh, which is like, it has always been like my motive to sell the stuff as fast as possible uh, to get the quick, uh, smaller profit. Like I've always done, if you've watched my series for longer, I've always done it that way. Sometimes I regretted it and sometimes it was really good, but this time I think I won't regret it. It's just like fucking 20 keys. If I would just wait for three months longer, it's just not worth it. Uh, I'm keys going through, and I will see you in the next trade. Yo, what's good? I made a little trade. Uh, it's nothing special. Uh, like two days ago, I bought this Malt Mullet Fruit Shot for. 62 keys, I added an unusual taunt which I withdrawed from market which is 2 keys and this shitty pistol I had in my inventory so basically 62.5 and today Flanner just offered me 70 pure and I just said I'll take it, it's just almost 8 keys quick profit, uh, can't do anything wrong with that to be honest and I'm quite happy with that. Uh, that's my inventory right now, what it's looking like, I shot the Hong Kong cone uh, which is really cool. I'm gonna show it to you in game because I think I just did not because I'm dumb. But look at that. I think one one clip didn't record audio, so that's kind of dumb. But yeah, here we go. Uh, I will see you on the next trade. Okay, so I have gotten a bunch of new items, which I'm gonna show you right now. I got this one. I bought it for 250 keys pure. It's a solid deal. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. And oh fuck, I fucked up. Yeah, I'm gonna show you everything I got new. Uh, let's just fucking get this out of the way for now. But yeah, I got this plus defense new, obviously. Frosty flavors. Uh, I got it together with this one. The Impaler, which I once owned before. The Belgian Detective. And what else? The Burning Question and the Law for my Terawatt Wreck. Which adds up to like 420 keys and items. I paid 360 pure for it, so... I cannot complain about that. And then I have this one. I bought it for uh, 161 keys. It's actually pretty cool. It's the first time I'm owning one of these effects. So that's not too bad. I can't complain about that. And you will see all the trades in a second. I have a new add-on uh, which just shows the trade history properly. And I can just show you the picks instead of like editing it myself. And you can see the effects. It's just pretty cool. And uh, 
yeah I can show you some cool combos maybe let's see how this one looks this white stash is actually fucking mid I'm not gonna lie <laughs> why is it white but actually it looks fucking dope with the uh, death of dust it's really fitting as well okay sorry I just got walked into I think I show you that one I'm not too sure this one is actually bro this looks so dope I'm not gonna lie I really like that combo uh, one of my favorite I've had ever so far probably the pyromancers and the chiroptero venonetta was the best I've ever owned but yeah uh, so much to that I will see you in the next trade okay hello guys it's me from the so-called afterlife I'm just uh, recording my voice right now only because I did a few trades I didn't show live and in the background got some gameplay going on I just played some high tower I recorded it uh, I want you guys to tell me in the comments if you like the version of this maybe I should do my trading videos like this in the future where I just put some gameplay in the background and I just play and uh, I just put the screenshot of the trades over it and it just like don't comment on it live and I just put it on uh, my voice recording on after I did the trades or if you like the live commentaries more just let me know in the comments uh, so yeah the trades were uh, three backpack buys basically I bought three backpacks for my marketplace you know I'm selling stuff on marketplace which is pretty profitable and I usually buy these like paying 45 keys or something and if I like sell everything which of course takes some time but I don't really mind because it's just sitting on my marketplace it will just be there for a while and I usually get like around 10 to 20 keys profit per backpack if I buy like a 40 key one of course the margin gets bigger the, the more expensive the backpack is but usually it's just more cheap ones and I don't really find many backpacks sells these days anyways so I also saw something on marketplace. I put some unusuals on it back again, and I sold my cold rim bubbles jumpers G cap, which I bought for 83 keys pure for basically 96 if we calculate it. And key price in key value, I sold it for 159.99 dollars, I think, and then I got out like 1 134.99 uh, dollars. You will see the screenshot anyway. So uh, that's it for today's video. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you liked the gameplay version and like and subscribe and feel free to join my discord uh text me on steam just ask me anything uh, we'll see you in the next video